All right, so I'm just planning things out. But before that, welcome back, you guys, to uh, another edition of the Motorcycle Fan Run Install. Um, just planning things out here a little bit. I know I'm going to want the speaker to sit. So I know I'm going to want the speaker to sit pretty much like this. Okay. Um, I want it to sit in here like that for the most part. All right. So I was just thinking about how I want it to sit in here. And I think it'll be pretty much like this. Pope letters facing down. Okay. Which would make things a little bit easier and see if I can safely take it out of this mount and show you that maybe I'll be able to if I can get the poke letters to all face down straight across I think it will look so much smoother Pretty much the plan right now is to get all of these facing in a straight direction. I could figure out the speaker wire after the fact. That's no big deal. It's just sliding the little crimps on there. So that's what I'm going to work on now. Uh, so just need to figure out an easy way to mark the screw little holes right here. Mark these areas here where I'm going to want to drill. So I don't want to drill one and just do it like that and install a screw. I mean, I could do that, but I think I'd rather to mark the holes and then install it. So I'm going to try and do that. We'll be back. Dude. all right so let's get started i'm going to lower the speaker in i have the speaker with the cover on top and the reason why i have the cover on top is it will help me to line the holes up which are in the speaker and in the cover together now i want to see where it is that I'm going to drill and I noticed that the cover was actually the most accurate for me to use as a, I guess you could say a jig so that I can know exactly where the holes would be. So I'm just looking at the speaker from side to side just to see if there's any gaps along the outer edges on either the left side, right side, top or bottom. I want the speaker to actually sit almost perfectly within the center. Whether or not that makes a difference, I don't know, but it was just what I wanted. No, because then I'll drill through the other side. I'm going to drill this first hole, but not completely through. Being as this is the first 
speaker I'm working on, I'm actually being really, really careful. I am really just double and triple checking everything because once you drill that hole, that's pretty much it. So if you wanted to reposition a speaker, you'd have to drill another hole. Drills in reverse. I figured that would help me to hold it down way better. So as you can see here, I decided that I would use just the cover because it just seemed very accurate. Using the cover, you know your the holes will be exactly where the cover hole face is. And that seemed to work out fine for the rest of them. Okay, so what do we have? We have all of our impressions in, as you can see. Now we can start drilling. Okay, now that I have 
that first set down on the left, I can just use the cover and use it as my template and drill the rest of the holes. I have this little box of uh, connectors, another Arbor Freight find, I guess you could say. I'm going to tell you right now, um, these suck. The connectors, don't buy them, say which okay? Side we're not even going to, we're going to skip consider this. Positive. Alright, so, I'll put the clips in. As you can see here, let's put those in, scrunch them down. Probably don't need these, but they have a little backing on the other side, so they'll hopefully help to hold the speaker in place. Hopefully. Well, that was great. Alright, so slight change of plans. I'm gonna go online and see if I can order some good connectors that I can connect onto this, onto these uh, speaker terminals here. So for right now, I'm just gonna mount them in and then afterwards I will try and see if I can get the connectors because I'm just struggling with it way too much right now and I just, I'm getting a little annoyed. So trying to line up some of these little metal clips was kind of annoying, but there's some parts that I'm just gonna kind of double speed it through. But I ended up having to have to take this speaker out just so you know what was going on here. I, I put it in, but then I ended up having to have to take it back out to check the metal clips to see if they were aligned.
put it back so you can come to work. And Okay, so here you can see it's time to do the other side. I'm gonna put the speakers in, put the cover on, line it up, make sure all the holes are where I think they should be, and then drill just a little bit in reverse just to make the impression, and then afterwards take everything out and finish out the hole. All right, you guys, so I got the speakers in and uh, let's just give you a look at them here. And this is them in, hopefully, hopefully that, that shows up. Got them in, I think, I think pretty nice. And now I'll just work on the radio. That'll be the next thing to do, is to work on the radio. That was pretty pain-free, not too many issues. 
I just need to order some connectors because those connectors that I have they're not staying on wire so I need some better connectors so that'll be the next thing to do all right guys thank you guys for watching and